So the next person that we can talk about, unfortunately, is not on the list of political prisoners because he is no longer with us. His name is Roman Bondarenko. Uh, the picture is again by the same uh, Belarusian artist. And uh, the reason he is no longer with us ties again to the story of the uh, mural uh, for, for the idea of changes and for this entire courtyard. Uh, people were decorating this courtyard in uh, red and white, which are now the political colors. And at some point, uh, there has been something, uh, some information through the official channels, like some vandals are putting this political stuff in our courtyards, but ordinary citizens, upright citizens, wouldn't, st uh, wouldn't st stand for it anymore. They are organizing and removing uh, black and white ribbons, uh, red and white ribbons. And uh, indeed, there has been uh, a group of people uh, coming uh, into the courtyard to remove these ribbons, and the police was following them, but not directly like uh, doing the, the, the same work, just like uh, uh, hovering over and arresting whoever objecting, uh, was objecting. Uh, one evening, they came to this courtyard again, and in the local uh, Telegram chat, there has been uh, the message like, hey, these folks are here again, and the guy wrote in the chat, I'm going out. That's the, light, the last thing that he ever wrote. Uh, when he went out, again, as usual, all this stuff uh, happened uh, to be on video. Uh, he only ever had chance to ask these people, what, what is this all about? Uh, the folks in the group who was uh, cutting the ribbons uh, said, why are you so brave? And started beating him up. Uh, next, the police van comes, uh, they are dragging him into the van. So just ordinary people beat, it, beat him up, so uh, uh, this is very unusual. People who were presented as ordinary people. Because what happened then is, uh, the next appearance the guy made was in the intensive care unit, with a huge brain trauma. And there has been a very uh, complicated surgery which, which he sadly didn't survive. And after that, uh, there has been huge outpour of uh, rage against uh, whoever uh, did this to this young guy who had this, his entire future before him. So people tried really, really hard to identify who had been these dudes, who were uh, ordinary concerned citizens uh, who were cutting the ribbons in the courtyard. And they came up with very interesting results. Uh, apparently, the people in this group resemble very much people like Dmitry Baskov, who is the president of international uh, of the uh, Ice Hockey Association in Belarus. 